Hi everybody, it's Apple and Spiritual with another reading. So this is gonna be the weekly cup that you guys love. Um, this is gonna be for the 1st of March to the 7th. So we are in March, the 1st to the 7th. So thank you guys for being here. Um, thank you for subscribing and hitting that like button and sharing my video with others to find me. Thank you for helping me grow. So, um, <laughs> you guys are like really nice, you know what I mean? Um, like saying like, if I don't feel good or if I tell you guys I don't feel good or whatever, or whatever, you know, if I'm off, because I'm that one video, the one weekly I did, I was off. So you guys, I told you this before, but I don't know if you guys like get this, but I film videos when I can. So it might not be that exact day that you see the video, like it's not in real time. And sometimes it is in real time. And I'll say, oh, this is in real time. Like I'm uploading this like the same day. You know what I mean? So that day, I didn't even remember <laughs> how I was feeling. Um until I started seeing you guys leaving comments like, oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. And like my other, <laughs> for the April videos and stuff like that, because that was a different time. I, like apparently that day I was feeling different or whatever, you know, so, but I appreciate it. You guys, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's all love and uh, yeah. Um, But I am sensitive and I, you know, feel things all around. I'm sure you guys feel, uh, I got to take my sweater off because I'm starting to, I've been sweat over here, so I gotta, I gotta take this shit off. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, um, just, you know, take it easy, right? And I have a few messages that I want to say before we get into the reading. So if you don't like that, you could just skip the video, you know, and go right to the, the actual weekly, whatever. So, um, yeah, I've, I've been feeling like not, not the greatest, uh, because of everything that's been going on. And, you know, I got, I got the woman friend, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, just feeling it's it's the like the energies of everything you know what i mean that full moon like really really effed me up <laughs> um yeah i wasn't feeling well at all and my mom wasn't feeling well either and uh like i was having a lot of anxiety i had like really bad anxiety that day i don't know if you guys deal with stuff like that but it, it depends what's going on, you know, and it depends with like what's going on with your body and, you know, how you're feeling and, you know, everything. And I have this tree that I call her mother tree in my yard, it's like this big tree. She grew into the deck, you know, the deck was built around her because my house was um, built in 1940. And uh, I always go talk to her when I'm feeling like, you know, something. And I hug her and stuff. And because I believe like all trees are gods and stuff. That's what I believe. Um, you don't have to believe that. But I feel like they all have spirits. And um, I go talk to Mother Tree. And sometimes like I bring her like some offerings and stuff, you know like star fruit <laughs> or like man she likes mangoes you know i just uh whatever i feel sometimes and i'll go talk to her and it's just a lot um so i feel like maybe some of you feel that you need to like talk to somebody or something or you know like you need to talk to god or you know, you just, you need to talk about stuff. Maybe you just feel like you need to talk, you know, let those feelings out. It's, it's about letting go. 
You know what I mean? Like this whole energy shift and everything, it's about letting go. And it's hard to let go. You know, we don't like to let go. Nobody likes to let go of anything. It's very hard. And uh, it's just one of the things of being a human being. It's just one of the, the traits we have is we have just a hard time to let go. And, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to work on letting go as, as best you can. In your time, you know, there's no pressure or anything like that. But sometimes we hold on to things that that end up hurting us more than whatever happened in the moment that 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 pain caused. You know what I mean? Like, especially if it was like a long time ago and you still hold on to things that it, it didn't it doesn't it's gone already. Um, yeah, I'm hearing fare thee well, you know, and like, I, I like, I was watching this K drama and, um, sorry, that's my fridge, but, uh, I was watching this K drama and I'm not going to like talk about the whole drama, but the father, he didn't want the son to be with this girl that he's been in love with since like they were young and they were born on the same day. You know, like the mothers were together. Um, They were best friends and they promised each other, like, you know, if, if anything ever happened to me or you, like, you know, our kids will always have a mother, blah, blah, blah. You know, like they were so close. And then just one day the one mother died and that father, he blamed the lady, the best friend, for killing her. But she didn't kill her or anything. Like, it, they were divers and stuff like that. And the lady drowned, you know. Like, it was it was an accident. It was just what happened. And he just, for years, like 20 years later, like, he's still grieving this lady. And and that's okay. You know, that, that I mean, death death never goes away like that. I mean, you just... You know, it's just what it is. You know what I mean? Like, it, it you, I mean, you don't have to tell me. I, I got a lot of Scorpio placements, so, uh, you know. <laughs> so, you know, you don't, you don't got to tell me anything about that shit because I get it. But it's like the guy never forgave. And, and like the lady that was the best friend, she would always try like to bring him food and whatever. And he would just throw it out. He was like, how dare you? even say her name how dare you even like why am i the only one that remembers and it's like no you're not you're not the only one that remembers because this lady cries too every night she misses her best friend it's like you it's like you might think something that hurts you only but it hurts other people too take take what that is to you in your heart like you if this is something that's ringing a bell in your head you're like wow okay you know just remember that like yeah you're not the only one that hurts from things either you know there's other people that were hurt as well and maybe in your situation and it's kind of like you don't have to be best friends with these people or you don't have to whatever but like you have to let it go you have to forgive somehow in your heart Especially if someone caused you some kind of pain. Like, you have to forgive them. I know it's hurtful and I know it's hard. And, like, it's just beyond, you know what I mean? Like, it's, like, beyond. Like, how how can I forgive this person after what they did to me? How they made me suffer? But you have to. You have to find a way. Because you're suffering. You're hurting from this. And that's what this is about. So that's a little part of that. Um, I have so much more to say, but we're already nine minutes in. Um, and I don't want to, you know, go too long on here. But 
my tea that I had today. This is today. Uh, everything is as important as everything else. Buddha teas here. Everything is as important as everything else. That's so important here. That's, a, that's such a powerful thing to say. You know, um, it's like everything matters in this world from like the smallest little piece of grass to like the biggest building. You know, it's like, like yesterday I was at work and um, um, there was this, there was this like paper on the ground, like napkin or whatever. And it's not like a place where I usually work because I have to go to like other buildings and stuff like that. Um, and I was looking down and I saw this ladybug on this paper. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on here? So I looked at her and I was like, you all right? And I, you know, she went on my finger because there was no grass or anything there. And I walked across the way and it was, and for a ladybug, it might, it might've took like thousands of years, right? For, for me, it was a few steps, but for this ladybug, it could have took like a long ass time, like days, you know, just to get across to where the grass was. But I helped her, I helped her get across. No questions asked, you know, nothing owed to me except kindness to the ladybug. You know, it's like think it's like not being selfish. It's like thinking about others, thinking about your fellow people here, thinking about thinking about your your nature, your fellow like others. Like everything matters. And you know, this this is airy season, so it's all about the self. You know, and um, just don't forget that there's others and there's other things here that need your support as well. Okay, so your vision could be blurry. So you could be not seeing everything right now year of the pig sagittarius you could be not seeing everything right now so capricorn and year of the rat okay all right so here we go i'm sorry it was so long but i just wanted to talk to you guys so i cleaned my table so uh, that could be significant. Maybe you want to clean something up. It's like getting too overwhelming here. And my nails are pretty, right? It's like cat's eye. So maybe you like cat's eye. Are you going to pick up some cat's eye? Okay, so the first thing I want to say about this cup, all right, is when I was making the cup and the grounds and the, and the water, there was a letter P on it, on the water. Then I, you know, did my thing with the cup and look what's on top of the cup, a letter P. It was in the water and now it's on the cup. It's unbelievable. I, I don't know what, this is like uh, very significant and letter P is important. I don't know what that means for you, but P can represent a property. P can represent parking. P can represent, um, <laughs> I just heard polygamy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, just P, like uh, someone's name could start with a P. You know, maybe someone coming into your life this week is gonna have a letter P. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else has P's? People, right? I was talking about everything, people. Uh, yeah, there's something with P, letter P. All right, so let's see what's going on. Here's the cup.
Yeah, and it smells not that great today. So something is definitely like rotting or it's like you're letting something go on too long that it's like it's rotten, you know what I mean? Like it's something's going to be like stinking this week. You're going to be like, "Wow, I, I better get rid of that or I, or how long have I had this or Maybe this is just how you feel. Maybe you just, <laughs> maybe you like stink more than usual because of what you're eating. You're going to be like, damn, I got to stop eating that stuff or I, whatever, you know, like maybe like your body odor. Oh, it's like very strange, right? But all right. So here's the big letter P. That's the, that's the big thing this week. And look, th that just dripped and I just cleaned this shit. So, hold on, let me get that napkin I was using. And let me get my little rag here. Sweetness. Strawberries could be significant. Okay. So there's this bird here and it looks like a baby, um, What's those things? Ostriches. It looks like a baby ostrich. That's what it looks like to me, right? It kind of looks like a bird skeleton. Could be too, like, from, like, ancient times, you know, when the dinosaurs were alive. So this is something that's, like, old. And maybe look up, like, emus or uh, ostriches. That could be a spirit animal for this week. I'm seeing number one, so the first, which would be April 1st, right? And that's Mercury retrograde officially. So that's definitely something here with that. And we have letter Z, 80 I'm seeing. And I'm also seeing a letter D, letter U. And this could be connected to your money. Maybe it's a proposal here with the P. Maybe like a proposal, like a contract. Okay, so that's very significant. So here's the cup. All right, let's look at this together as a family. So I'm seeing number three here. So the third, the fifth, that's all this week is going to be very significant. I'm hearing timelines here. Someone's reaching for the star. So you're reaching and, and grabbing your wish this week. You're able to grab the wish now. Hmm, 91. So you could be year of the goat, year of the dragon, year of the tiger, Pisces, Taurus, year of the monkey and year of the rat. So I'm seeing like the first day, the first like two days, first day or two days, it's going to be something is going to be very clear to you. There's a path that's opened right away, letter F. And then this is when everything starts flowing in. Look at this dog. It looks like Snoopy, look. With the ear and the mouth. Year of the dog. This is someone that's finally coming to help you here. This is a loyal friend. This is someone that's completely loyal to you, is happy to see you. Maybe this is someone who hasn't seen you in like a while. And I'm feeling the energy getting picked up here now. Now I'm feeling excited, happy with this. There's someone in the background here that's dark. It's like another dog that's dark, but this one is coming to save you. Look at this, it's like so light. This is somebody that was blocking you this whole time. So if you've been feeling blocked or just, just not feeling well in like this like heavy energy, this cloudy energy, it was this person that was trying to come in between you and something that you wanted. And now this person's coming to save you. This is like happiness here. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups here. So it's like 
wish fulfillment, right? This could be love. This could be something that's going to make you emotionally just beyond happy here in your life. Letter B, cancers here. Yeah, there could be something with like water picking and stuff like that. I'm also seeing that maybe you like water pick or you're something with your teeth, like maybe you're going to the dentist. I'm also seeing Aries here and another dog here, but it's smaller. This dog is talking to the year of the dragon. So this could be two people that are talking to each other. This could be you talking to someone year of the dragon. I'm seeing year of the goat here. There's a conversation. Okay, so this is very important. You have a candle here, so and it's giant. This is like spiritual intervention coming um, in now to bring you enlightenment to the next level this week. So you will be shown the way, but like it's big. So it's like something very significant that's going to open up this path. I'm seeing here of the cat here. I'm seeing here of the rooster and a letter G. You could be dyslexic as well. You have the rooster. Hmm. F2. F2 is like on a keyboard. Maybe you're like typing something on a keyboard. There's something with being on a laptop. Staying focused here. I'm hearing staying focused. So that you could be like applying to something or like you really need to read between the lines of everything that you're signing. Oh yeah, because it is Mercury retrograde. So that makes sense. So make sure you look over everything. If there's, especially if there's something online, there could be a typo, an error. There's something with like shiitake mushrooms, like especially like shiitakes. Uh, miso. So this could be like Asian cooking, like Asian flavors. Maybe you're eating at some kind of Asian restaurant this week for your birthday, I'm hearing. So maybe it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Year of the pig. There's a, there's a, um, like a, uh, what is that called? Like not... an army knife or something you know it's like that th one of those things that it has all the tools in it i don't know what it's called right now but it has like the can opener the knife the whatever uh it's, it's like a survival thing i feel like you, you're gonna have to use your tools of wisdom to survive this week uh because there's gonna be a lot thrown in your in your way and in your face i'm hearing year of the rat that you're gonna have to use your skills that you that you already have you already have these skills yeah it's like a swiss army knife or something it has like all the tools like you have all the tools you need 13 5 year of the dragon yeah you have all the tools you need you have a lot of people surrounding you but they're like in the background like you're the one that's the main character this week um, year of the rabbit is here, year of the snake, but you're the main character this week. There's something with like a transfer of energy. That's I, I'm seeing that right here. So it's like animal to tree to person. So this could be like a transfer of energy or like a transfer of information. So nature and the energy of beyond this like dimension this plane of existence you're going to be getting a like a download especially if you're connected like that letter m letter w and we have a fish here so pisces and abundance towards the middle end of the the week i'm seeing a lot of fairies here so you could be a fairy, connected to the fairies. But the fairies are helping you out this week. They, 
There's one fairy with a unicorn head. There's one fairy that's uh, connected to a butterfly. There's one fairy that is, um, it's like two fairies together, like they're twins. So there's like a lot of playful, mischief mischievous energy, but nothing dangerous. Like you're going to be left little gifts and stuff like that through the week. So you don't lose, so you don't lose hope because maybe you're going to receive like something or like it, it, the week's going to be up and down. So they're just like saying like, don't lose hope. It's okay. Like here's a little gift here and there. So maybe for example, you'll go into a store and you're looking for something, but you find the other thing that you've been wanting for like months, you know, and it's like, it's just a little gift. Like, Hey, look, you know, you did really good today. You didn't give up. Here's a little gift. I'm seeing a mother and daughter here. So your mother's coming into focus. JM is here. And there's a heart, a lot of hearts here, a lot of love. You're very loved and, and um, you're expressing your love and people are expressing their love towards you. You're of the horse. And we have a, um, an elk here talking to uh, like a bird. So I'm telling you, it's like a lot of wisdom and trust. Maybe someone's talking to you or you're hearing a, a message from spirit, like I said, or this is someone that's different than you. You know, you're not expecting this. I'm hearing you're not expecting these dreams. Year of the pig, which represents 12, um, which is Sagittarius. And we have year of the cat. Uh, is Aries and here's the key so there is a key that you're receiving it's a clear yes here it's a clear yes you're ready to go through this door you're being gifted this tea, this tea. <laughs> so maybe you're getting the tea that's going to allow you to open up this door you're getting the news you're getting what you've been waiting for Letter J. And then I'm seeing someone that's complaining here towards the end of the week. They're angry. It's like a bear that's like has their arms up, like growling. Yeah, someone's going to be like very pissed off that you got something that they've been blocking you. I feel like that's connected to the person that's all the way from the beginning of the week. Like they're going to be so effing pissed that they didn't win. They didn't win. So that's how I see your, your week going. Let's back this up a little bit. Let me look in the camera so I, I could see what you guys see. I'm not really seeing anything else. Hold on. It's the play. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. You know, like those little rhymes are like, that's that, that was like a jump rope song when I used to jump rope and like, school like in recess you know you don't know what those songs mean but some of them were like really weird right uh there's something where some part of the week is going to remind you of your childhood but it's also like someone's going down someone is going down like their status they're getting like demoted so someone did not do nice things. Look, there's nothing here. <laughs> this is it. This week, you're going to really see whatever that was. And you already know this because spirit told you already. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn.
Yeah, here's the key again here. Year of the Ox, Taurus, Year of the Rat, Capricorn. I'm hearing you must see my child. That's what I just heard. You must see. They want you to see and pay attention. To listen more this week. There's something about listening more than talking. Letter N and letter K. I'm hearing a curse is being lifted. Number three. Number eight. So maybe as soon as this eclipse happens, it's something's going to be lifted from you. Or you're going to feel like something is, that's been bothering you for so long. It's like you're going to wake up and it's going to be gone. Maybe it was just... A, it was just in time. Like, <laughs> it was just in time. That's what, I, that's what I'm hearing and that's what I'm saying here. It's just in time. Oh, I didn't do the hand of fate today, so... This is all going to be live shuffling. Let's see. For this week, for, for everybody connected to this cup. Yeah, letter P is important here. Okay, so we have the clouds. Hmm. Letter K. So there's something that, yeah, look at this. It's a, it's a forked road. You're not going to know which way to go here. You're not. You're going to have to make a choice. And you have the significator here and the rider. This is someone bringing you news. But you don't know who this is. And this is something you've been waiting for for a long time with the ship. All right. So. There's confusion, complications, bad weather, right? Uncertainty. So this is your energy now or like in the beginning of the week. A mature and intelligent man. This could be who's bringing you this news. So in love, it, it's problems in love, discomfort in a relationship, uncertainty, conflicting feelings. In your career, it's instability, uncertainty concerning a career path. So it's like, which way do I go? Like, what, what do I do? Especially with this forked path here. Health, it could be mental stress, anxiety, depression, and addiction. And something connected to June which makes sense because it's a six Gemini energy and you're the snake. Okay, so the forked path, it's like unclear on where to go in your, in your relationship or in your career, right? There's definitely a, a crossroads here in this week. Letter Q, 22 is here. So you could be seeing 222 a lot. And two, 22 adds up to four, which is Aries and Year of the Rabbit. And the fourth, like the fourth day, April 4th. A decision regarding multiple choices with different outcomes. Hesitation, a difficult choice. In love, it's lack of commitment, separate, separation, struggle with the choice regarding a relationship, career, multiple job opportunities. So maybe it's like from all of this, it's just going to explode here. Choice for sake of health, second opinion, circulation, issues, two days. It could also be April 2nd as well. The significator can represent anyone, any gender. But since it said a mature and loving man, it could be a, a man here as well. Okay, so the rider... Number nine, year of the monkey, Virgo. One is here, so year of the rat and Capricorn. You also have 37 here. Important messages, news, a visitor, quick slash speed. So this, this is coming in fast. Athletic, youthful, ambitious, a young man. So we have two confirmations. It, it's probably a man. So one of you, it could be a young man. It could be an older man or it could be both. Who knows, right? 
love, new romance, flirtation, lack of commitment. So this could be two people coming towards you in love. You're going to have to make a decision. This could be two people coming towards you with job opportunities. You have, you have to make a decision. Career news, usually positive. So it is positive. It's, it is positive. Health, health news, feet, legs, knees, exercise or activity. So maybe you're going to get some kind of news about your health and it's going to bring clarity because maybe you were in the dark, like you didn't know what to do. January, it's connected to one day here. And everything is connected to this ship. Number 10, year of the rooster, Libra. Number three, year of the tiger and Pisces. Travel, investment, being all in. Business, the sea, great distance, departure, obligation. Love, long distance, waiting for love, letting go of past love. So maybe somebody's coming from the past and this is somebody new. It could be that where you're going to have to make a decision because it is Mercury retrograde. So don't be surprised. Things like to come back around. People like to come back around. Love, long distance. Okay, I just said that. So maybe I have to repeat that to you because maybe you don't listen the first time. Career, good news, investment, foreign business, travel for work. So maybe you're traveling this week for work, maybe for training, maybe for a new job. Um, but it's good news. It, it says it's good news. So it's not nothing bad. So health, it's an alternative healing. Travel for medical reasons. So maybe you're going to travel somewhere. Maybe you're going to go overseas for a, 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 a medical thing. You know, maybe you're going to do it whole, a, whole, a whole different way. Um, maybe you're going to travel to another state because there's a better doctor there or something. I don't know. But it's, gonna, it's, it's all positive, though. March. So maybe this started happening in March. And now you're going to be like in it in April. So three days. So literally you have one, two, and three. So definitely this week is going to be very powerful for you. For all of us, I'm, I'm included. Let's find out what the angels want to say here. Okay. Okay. So these two flipped out. We have intention here. So that's why the candles were was in that cup. So you've been manifesting this. You've been putting your intention into this and it's coming true. Some of you, this could be about love, about a soulmate that's coming in to help you here. But what you need to do is surrender and release, okay? Because look, the pot, it's, it's, it's broken. It's cracked. And she's still holding on to it like, oh, I could still save it. I could still fix it. No, you got to let it go. You got to surrender. Something is done already. retreat yeah it's time for you to retreat go within because there's freedom for you there's freedom i'm saying one more especially with your body your health yeah there's something definitely with nature here and talking to the fairies look your angels are going to talk to you yeah, and it's connected to your abundance here. And music. You could be listening to some kind of music this week that's going to give you some kind of clue. Things like that happen, you know? Like, uh, for real. Like, I'm not even joking. Some people think that's crazy. I don't know. But I'm very connected. And I, I'm i just in a whole nother level. I'm just, I'm just not from here. I'm not from this planet. So that's why. Okay, your dreams need a practical plan. New moon and Taurus. So your dreams need to be grounded. They need to be solid. And I feel like that's what's happening for you this week. Like you're, something's going to help you ground whatever this is. Okay. A win-win out, outcome is forecast. New, a full moon in Libra. Wow. And we just had that. So this is like real time here. A win-win outcome here. Wow, that's crazy. Look, and the other one's a new moon. A new start is coming. So by the new moon eclipse, looks like a, like a, the eclipse on the 8th. Holy shit. This is like for real, bro. Okay. So we have communication is key. So a Gemini could be coming into focus this week. Or you're a Gemini. Communication and Scorpio as well. It's time to release negativity. You need to let go of the past. You need to let go of addictions. And it's coming back to Taurus prosperity lies ahead so once you follow the steps and you're you're doing this now if you're doing this you know and you feel it so it's it's happening it's good there's nothing bad here it's really positive here what else about this week i'll take three cards 
take three cards. Okay. Dragon fruit. Successful career slash relationship. New home or car. Luxury purchase. Prosperous time. New pet. Any animal. Gossip. Wow, and you have the unicorn here uh, with the crown. Connected and elevated. Yeah, you're very connected this week. You know what's going on. Okay. Um, dried flowers. Drained. Low vibration due to stress. Sleepless nights. This is the, You need to get out of this energy here. Let go of control issues. Ego and pride are taking over. Overthinking. Hermit card. So it's Virgo energy. It's like going within. Right? A need for downtime and reflection. Four days. All right? So it's like the next four days, you could be just wanting to go within. Like going into hermit mode. Because you're going to have to think and, and really cleanse this shit out. Underneath, you have never-ending story. Discovering new ways of doing things. The hanged man. New person or job or both. Travel for work or pleasure. You have that twice. Making plans for the future. Needing to listen more. Wasn't I saying that? A patient person. Timing now. The present. And they want you to know this one. Processing emotions is step one to healing them. So a lot of you are having a hard time processing your emotions. And this week you're going to have to face it. Because there's something where you're going to have to face your emotions. You know what I mean? You're going to have to face them. Now or never. It could have to do with your money and finances here. That's what's coming into focus. Ask for guidance. And you are. And you're receiving that. It's coming. Inadequate. This is about that negativity here. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Hopes and wishes. This is connected to the summer. You could be a fire sign. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. So air, fire, and, and earth. Okay? So it's like the, the clouds are clearing here. Something connected to like spring, summer, unhealthy addictions. It's like you need to clear all this stuff out. Scorpio energy here. It's something about Pluto. It's Pluto's helping you push this all out. It's hard, I know. But you have blessings coming in, right? Four-leaf clover here. Blessings coming in, releasing. You need to release this because you're going to be li reliving the past. And there's something about this week, right? This whole month, pretty much, with Mercury retrograde where things are going to be coming, coming back up from the past. It's going to be like, man, I feel like I did this already. This is like reliving the past here. Spend time together. Maybe somebody needs to talk to you. And there's something with the beach here. The ocean. Maybe you need to go to the beach or the ocean to talk to, to God or your angels. Maybe you just need to walk alone. Or there's someone there waiting for you to talk to you. This could be in spirit. This could be someone that passed away. That's connected to you. That they love you and they want to talk to you. And now is the time. Maybe you didn't want to face this. Maybe you didn't want to grieve this, but it's it's time to let it go now. And if this is if this is what you're dealing with with someone that passed away, you know, never feel guilty like that. You know, because that person wouldn't want you to live in sadness. Never. You know what I mean? Because that that's like really effed up. You know what I'm saying? Like that person would never want you to feel sad. So maybe you need to go talk to them. All right, you, you need to go talk to them because I, I feel like I'm going to cry right now. So I, I know it's very hurtful, but, you know, you, you need to go talk to them. They're waiting for you. Attached. You're still attached to somebody. This is somebody that misses you. It could be right now in this physical plane or spiritually. But, you know, you need you need to go talk to talk to them. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, they're waiting for you. Go talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. Okay. This week, let's see. Yeah, look at this. It's all connected to the new beginning here. Don't have fear. Don't let fear hold you back. Wow, and they're just the it's just flying out the the past. You need to let go. You need to let go of the past. Okay, because this full moon effed you up. All right, this is connected to this to this new beginning here. Yeah, it's a choice. Look at this. You're you're 
you're like, you're like on your way to making that, that complete choice, but you're still in between. You're like, do I go? Do I not? It's connected to this past. Like you want this new beginning, but you're still in the past. And spirit's like, all right, well, you got it. You got it completely. It's like, you're almost there to saying, yeah, I made my decision, but you're still in between. You're not like completely sure. And, and once you are completely sure, and I feel like this week, you're going to be completely sure now. That's when you're going to reach your, your, your wish. The thing that you always wanted. Yeah. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. That's brand new beginning here. I know. Listen to me. I know it's hard. It's hard. I just saw five, five, five on, on the clock. It's hard, but just, it's okay. It's okay. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to be a little bit scary. It's supposed to be, it's change. And I was saying this in the beginning, it, it's okay, but that's the only way you're going to grow. That's the only way you're going to grow in this life. You have to embrace this, but look, and it landed up like this again, because it's trying to, trying to tell you guys this. Yeah. Cause it's, it's a burden, bro. Nine of wands. It's an effing burden. Why are you living like this? And you could be involved with somebody that they're, they feel the same way as you. So if this is a relationship, you both are burdened by this. You both want to end this shit, but you, but like you're scared, but you both feel the same way. Okay. You, you got it. It's, it's okay, but it, it's not going to change. This is, this is it. This is it. Underneath you got the Empress. This is, this is what's waiting for you around the, around the bend here. But you got to take what resonates because some of you already completed this already. You're already on the, your way to this. You already dealed with this. Okay. You have to release this negative shit. Release this toxic shit. Your addictions. Things that are bothering you. Okay. And a lot of you, this took a long ass time. It's coming now. But you have to release this. And this new opportunity, especially if this is money, okay, you're going to be making a lot of money with this. A lot of money. Like big time money. Yeah, look, the star. Yeah, this is connected to your wish. So since these three are together, this is telling me that this is going to be beyond what you, what you even thought. Like you're going to be like, you could be a millionaire. You know what I mean? Like you could... You could be making money for beyond. Like people are not even going to know how you even did it. Like you could be coming from nothing and then all of a sudden you're, you're like famous and you're just, you know what I mean? Like it, it's like not for everybody, obviously, but it's, that's what I'm getting here. It's like beyond you're like untouchable here, but you keep letting burdens hold you back. But since this is, this is the after tarot, you're fighting off this shit. Now you're not letting these like things put fear in you. You grab that sword and you're ready to fight that shit. You're ready to conquer your addictions, your fears. King of Cups in reverse. For some of you, okay, if this is you, right, you're not feeling emotionally stable and secure right now. Right now you're feeling depressed, anxiety, heavy anxiety. You know, you're not feeling the happiest right now, all right, because of the past. Because you're waiting for this new beginning, it's keeping you like stuck like this and you're waiting to move on. A lot of you could be waiting for love and it's coming. For some of you, you have someone here, they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, that they're not, they're not emotionally stable right now. They could be dealing with addictions, okay? They could be trying to heal from something here. Maybe a job loss. Or maybe from like cheating onto you or something. I don't know. This could have been someone that cheated onto you. And and now they're they're reaping their karma here. And maybe this is someone from the past that's coming back around that hurts you. But you know that they're not emotionally stable. You know how this person is. They're not nice. This is someone that's like a cheater or a liar or whatever. They betrayed you. And they're coming back around. Why do you still want to deal with this person when you have new shit? This is a test coming back around. 
yeah, death in reverse. It's like you need to end this cycle. And it could have to do with this water sign. Yeah, and love. Love came out like this. This is a choice. Make a choice here. And it's happening very quickly. You're going to have to make a decision. Cancer placements are here. Scorpio. Heavy Scorpio. Capricorn. Aquarius. Gemini. Because you're at another level now. You're, you're reaching another level, another height. These people can't even touch you anymore. This person has no control over you anymore. Yeah, you're the emperor here. You were the empress over there. So your healing work, your self-care, you've been doing it. And, and, it, and spirit's like, wow, we're proud of you on that end. Now this end of the emperor side that, that you're, you know, because we both have, uh, all of us, we, we have the masculine and feminine energy together. And when both of them are strong within you, no, no one can stop you. And you're reaching that, that next level here. You could be becoming a boss, bro. You could be getting a promotion this week or something very significant in your, in your career is changing where people are going to be like, wow, this, is, this person's like a boss, next level here. Aries, especially, right? Capricorn and um, Year of the Goat. Let me split this. Yeah, definitely the past. And a lot of you, you healed the past. Okay, that you're you're able to move on here. Some of you are still stuck there, and some of you you're done. You healed it. The sun's out. You're happy. Everything's good. You know, there, there's no sadness anymore. You healed the inner child here from the past. This could be. This could have been connected all the way past the past, like when you were a kid. This might have ne not had to do with anybody. This could have had to do with you. Because a lot of this transits now, I told you, has to do with you. That you're you, the self, me. And and you're able to let go now and forgive. And and that's like beyond here. That's that's I mean, what else do you want? I mean, this is as clear as day. Spirit can't get any clearer than this. I mean, if you're not paying attention and you're not listening to your intuition, what do you want them to do? They're only here to help us. Okay. So let me see. I just want to look really quick. I'm not going to take these. Yeah, so you can be involved with the law. Someone will make you try to do something against your will. So be careful of that. So hold on. I wasn't ready for this week. Okay, here we go. Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay, so that's great. You grab Sagittarius placements, air placements, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, especially Gemini. Okay. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Someone could be reaching out for help or you're reaching out for help from something here to somebody. Some, look at this, how it fell out. This could be someone reaching, the younger man here. That could be who that rider is. So hold on, we have dealings or relationship with a younger man. Kite, vacation. This could be connected to a vacation, a trip. Dolphin. Dolphins are very playful. This could be... um. The energy you're in this week, like very playful, youthful, young, right? Friendship. Dolphins represent like twin flame energy for me, like soulmate, twin flame, love. You know what I mean? Um, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. And it's Mercury retrograde. It's coming back around. And people want to be in your, in your, in your presence because they feel like you're, you're spiritually at another level here. You know what I mean? They feel like you, you touch something that they can't touch or get next to. They feel like you're, you're like touched by God. Table, hard work ahead and you are. Look at this unicorn. You have that twice. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes, especially with this person coming towards you or this help, you reaching out for help. But yeah, something with uh, hard work ahead because of what you wanted with the arrow here. These two flip like this. Let's see. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead, especially with this younger man here. And we have pig. So Chinese year of the pig, Sagittarius, beware of greed. That could be connected to a trip, a vacation here. All right. And Bo, you are highly thought of with the, this financial gain. It's because you deserve it. Okay. They said stop. Underneath you have scissors. Disappointment in some affair. So there will be a disappointment in some affair. 
and I just want to grab something in the middle, lighthearted, carefree time. So something that disappointed you, you're going into a light, carefree time in your life with that shit. All right, let's get charms and close this out. September 19th could be significant. Okay. Oh, and when I was cleaning the desk, like I rolled the dice and two landed here, right? So it is a choice this week, the fourth path. What are you gonna choose? Like, what are you gonna choose here? Let me just grab a little bit of my tea. Yeah, it's cold now. Something's gone cold here. It's done. FP. Landmark. Something with a landmark. Luke. Lou. Lymph. Lymph system. Lymph notes. The thyroid. A lump. Maybe you're going to feel a lump and you're going to go get it checked. And maybe it's nothing scary. Maybe it's something you could take care of because you found it in time. Dot. D-O-T. Maybe you're in D-O-T training. Something with the bank. Oh, now I remember. I'm going to tell you guys something, okay? This is like, I, I literally called my mom. This was what I was going to tell you in the beginning, but now I'm starting, I'm remembering now, like right now. Okay, something with Facebook uh, here. Okay, so I don't know if it was the weekly that was like the week before, like two weeks ago. It was either a week before or two weeks ago. But I was saying something about, and let me know if you guys remember what I was saying, but about something getting pulled out from the depths, like a car in the water. You know how they pull it out with a crane and shit. Like I was saying something with that, right? So I, what happened was I remember that, right? And I was like going to the store, right? I was, and, and there was, there's like this lake, pond, whatever, like by my house. Like uh, when you drive straight or whatever, it's like a few minutes away from my house. So I'm driving and I'm, you know, just normal, like whatever. And I look on the clock and it says one, 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 right? And I look over to my right in the window and I see that lake, right? Cause I always, you know, you always look at, I always look at it when I'm driving, when, I, when you pass it. Cause I always see like a bird or something or people are over there fishing or whatever. And there was police and fire, the fire truck and all this shit, right? And I'm like, what the F is that? And I see a car floating in there, like just the very surface top of it in the in that water, right? And I, like I said, I looked at the time when I looked at the car floating. It must have just happened, one one one, right? I was like, holy shit! I remembered exactly what I said in that reading, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's effed up. That I never seen that before. I've never seen that in real life, like a car going in, like like. You know, I only seen that in like movies and shit. And I was like, holy shit. I said this in the reading. And then I called my mom. I was telling her, she was like, oh my gosh, I got goosebumps and shit. It was, it was crazy, but I just wanted to tell you that. I don't know what happened with that person, but, or whatever, I don't know. But maybe that's something you need to hear. Something significant. Lungs. Something with the breathing, lungs, take care. something hidden here secrets coming to light you're going to hear two things one's going to be very small one's going to be bigger it could be coming from a pisces or a water sign jet okay so we have five two three three two five that could be a house number that could be a time um, May 23rd, May 2nd, May 3rd, it could be the 5th, the 2nd, and the 3rd. That's all days of this week. 
year of the tiger, year of the ox, year of the dragon, Pisces, Aquarius, and Taurus. Yeah, something with your money here. Yeah, something's being unburied here. You're digging something up. And it's going to shock you. You're going to be like, wow. Yeah, you've been manifesting all this into, into your reality. And that's what I said. It's coming true. 17 here. Let your dreams take flight. Something definitely with your dreams this week. Pay attention. Pay attention to your dreams. SUV. Something with like a van, a sedan here. Uh, a cycle with your diet. You could be on like some weird diet and it's not working for you and you're just going to end it. You're going to stop. You could be on like one of those yo-yo diets and shit. Something with sweets, your sugar. Maybe your sugar is like up and down this week. Something with tea. Maybe you're having tea. Maybe you're cleansing a lot this week, like cleansing with lots of teas or you need to be calm, relax. You need to take it easy, right? You can also be having a nice conversation with somebody. It's going to make you feel lighthearted. You're very attractive right now with this daisy. And this also represents spring. We're in spring right now. Happy spring. Um, but you're being seen as very beautiful. You could be glowing, right? You could be having that pregnancy glow, I'm hearing. So that could be for some of you. The Ace of Cups. Here you go. This, this is what I saw in the cup. The Ace of Cups. It's something that's a wish fulfillment. An emotional fulfillment in four areas of your life. But one particular thing you wanted, it's coming true this week. It could have to do with love love someone could be foreign they could have like an accent something with your sacral chakra yeah you're being divinely guided towards this and you're gonna get um advice from a wise person here yeah you have the pegasus here something with the hospital this kind of reminds me of like the hospital like doctor your health yeah a wish is coming true and look the fairies here the fairies are helping you with your wish yeah and you're gonna be taking control of your life like you're the captain now, you have control now, you feel like you're gaining control of your life. Definitely a beautiful wish is coming true here. Letter J. Yeah, and this is about being protected here with the pentacle here. This also has to do with your money, your finances, a brand new beginning in your money. Earth energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Wow, the four leaf clover, are you serious? Yeah, th this is about your money. A blessings coming your way. The, like the luckiest, you're having a lucky effing week, but there's one particular day here, and it could this could be one of the days, or this could be lucky numbers to play in the lottery, but like 52, 53, 32, 35, 23, 25, 5, 2, and 3. Wow. And um, yeah, one of those days could be, and especially because this is a weekly, the 5th, you could be winning something the second or the, the third. Or those are lucky days for you. Another fairy here. I told you, didn't I see like a bunch of them in the cup? Yeah, something took a long ass time. And look, look who's showing up. The ladybug that I said. Lady Luck. She's here. Yeah, there's something about a key that I saw in the cup. You're definitely receiving the wisdom and power to move on. But it's a clear yes. There's something important here. And I'm, I'm actually going to read you the key. Um in this pamphlet, because there's a key thing in here, and I'll just read it to you. Number eight, you're the goat, Leo. Answers or a solution, karma, what is needed? So this is your karma. Significant information, a yes. Love, a significant relationship, spiritual connection. So you're making a lot of spiritual connections this week. Solutions available for relationship issues. Career, significant events at work may lead to success. What did I say? Diagnosis, the right treatment and recovery. And it says now the present. And also says November here, but it could be connected to a Scorpio or Sagittarius. All right, there's, there could be a foreign travel here or someone foreign is around you, like you're dealing with someone foreign or European. Chinese ear of the pig, abundance. Yeah, there's gossip coming from someone, either Chinese ear of the pig, or you're going to be hearing about something from Chinese ear of the pig or about this person. They could have Sagittarius placements. They could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, you you have protection beyond from evil eye, from haters, envy. You're protected here. Yeah, and, and <laughs> something with love. I'm telling you, Cupid's arrow is here. Sagittarius is here. Yeah, something with your heart. You're going to be so happy, bro. 
so happy yeah and this is from your ancestors so thank them thank you ancestors thank you angels thank you spirit i love you thank you mother tree mother tree's outside uh she's outside um <laughs> of course she's outside she's the tree but she's uh i see i have a skylight up there so she's always here right here i could see her limbs and stuff outside all right so you have the uh air balloon here so you could be like traveling and it's like very peaceful. You know what I mean? It's definitely a nice travel here. Or it, it could have represent you traveling through your life, but like peacefully now. Now it's going to be a peaceful journey here. Yeah, you're cutting shit out with the razor blade. You definitely were dealing with someone that was so toxic. They had addictions. They This person could have been like a cutter. Like, you know, how people cut their skin. I know, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just telling you. You know, I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but like I knew people that did things like this. You know what I mean? It's very sad. Um, but at the same time, I don't feel bad for people like that because you know what it is like there's so many people that go through bad things and they don't go. They don't do things like this. Like I me personally, I went through so many bad things and I never once I'm straight edge. I never turned to drugs. I never drank alcohol. I never did. I always did like the best I, I could and, I, and and I'm a survivor like that. So I don't feel bad for people like this. You know what I mean? There's no need for things like this. There's always help. And I know people have mental illness and stuff like that, but you need to go and, and clear things like that. Talk to somebody, all right? Like, you know, I know it's a sensitive thing, but this is just how I feel because I went through so many bad things that, you know, people wouldn't even be able to be in my shoes right now they would have ended shit and i never once turned to anything like that and i'm not telling you to congratulate me i'm just telling you to you know to tell you this this whole thing right here what i'm talking about is like who are you you know what what makes you strong here are you really like that weak that you have to let people take advantage of you and belittle you No, you had faith and trust here. You believe in God. You know, you could be Christian, but that doesn't matter. It's it's your faith. Because all that stuff is is all the same shit anyways. It's, it's not even, I don't even believe in any of that. It all represents light and God and your energy. Because you're God. I'm God. You're God. We're all God. God's within us. And the sooner you you know that, the, the sooner the better I'm hearing. You have Libra, finding balance within, balancing your life, not not letting your your life go out of control here, releasing that negative shit. You know, I'm getting a, an interesting story right now in my head that maybe you were the person that was suicidal. You know, maybe you were someone that cut themselves or you had addictions or problems, right? But now you healed that or you got through that somehow that you're helping other people that have issues like that. Like you're you're the catalyst for other people and to help them because you found a new way here. And sometimes things like that happen because you're meant to do that in the light in your life purpose. You know? Something with your ancestors. Look, Mother Tree's showing up. I'm telling you, Mother Tree is here. Yeah, connected to love. Uh yeah, and intuition. Pisces is here. Yeah, you're feeling secure now. You're feeling stable. This could be a uh, water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got a lot of charms. A lot of charms this week. Holy shit. Hold on. All right, Lotus. Renewal. Brand new, begin brand new beginning in something, especially with your health, your wellness. Recovering here. You're recovering through something here. Yeah, another bird. You have two parrots here. So a lot of gossip around you. People are talking. Being vulnerable. Being open. Yeah, especially with love. Someone's going to definitely tell you their feelings. Someone's going to definitely tell you that they have, they, they love you. This is like a soulmate or a twin flame here. Yeah, everything's being divinely guided this week. You're going to be like, wow, this is like, the angels are going to be helping you. You're going to be seeing repeating numbers. You're going to be seeing feathers. You're going to be seeing animals looking at you or that you're going to have to help. You know what I mean? Sacral chakra twice. So maybe you need to ground that. You need to work on this. You could have like an overactive uh, sacral chakra, cancer, a lot of water energy here. 
yeah again water energy but the sea turtle you know how the sea turtle is a little sea turtle they have to make it from under the sand right all the way to the water without getting eaten right then they have to make it through the way through their life and not get eaten that whole time that they're growing in that water you did you ever see a documentary of a sea turtle maybe you should watch that shit and see how they have to live and survive in the seaweeds and shit <laughs> yo i'm telling you like i had one time i i don't know why i'm telling you guys all these stories today because it's because you're my people that's why you're you're my family on here so uh and maybe it makes you feel better i don't know like i remember i was in i was in hawaii uh and i went to the green sand beach because there's only like four of them in the whole world and it took such a long ass journey to get to this green sand beach. I mean, like I was so effed up, like my feet, my body hurt, like one, one, one on the clock. So get down there. You have to climb down this like wall of a, of like a mountain type of thing to get down to the beach. And once you get down there, I'm not even joking. The sand's literally green. Like it's real, bro. And like, and I'm in the water and I'm swimming and shit. It's like the best feeling. It's like making it through something so hard, right? And right next to my feet, because you could see through the water, was a sea turtle right next to my feet. And you're not supposed to touch them or anything because you can like, you know, defer them from their path. You know, you're not supposed to like, you know, don't, you're not supposed to do that. And like, I was just, and it was right next to my, my ankles, my feet. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I wanted to cry, like... Yo, that was, it was like beyond, like, it was so cute, you know, that was a spirit guide, but yeah, you have, uh, your dog's coming into focus. So maybe this is the spirit that's going to be helping you this week. You know, uh, your dog, if they're here or not, they're going to be communicating to you. Also, this is about year of the dog, Scorpio and communication. And I remember we saw that dog in the cup. This is like a loyal friend. This could be your child. This could be a family member, Chinese year of the snake. Uh, is a cobra here. Cobra is your spirit animal for this week about renewal and transformation. And it kind of is making like a heart in its, in its body. The cobra is a very spiritual animal. It's helping you this week with transforming like that, that darkness here. What is this Capricorn? Something with your Saturn. And you have your the horse. You have a lot of Chinese years here. Chinese, you have the horse about freedom, moving forward. And this also has to do with that rider. So messages coming in. That younger man is going to be significant. But that's all I have for you. I'm sorry this was so long uh, with my stories. Hopefully you didn't get bored. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love you guys. And let me just see if there's anything else. 77 is here and... Year of the rat and year of the ox. Just make sure you're paying attention this week. All right? I love you guys very much. Namaste. Love and light.